Today, we'll quickly see the difference between table variable and temporary table with respect to the transactions. The script is available over here. First, we'll create a temporary table. Later, we'll create table variable. Both of them has the same schema. We will insert one row into each of them. We will begin the transaction and insert one row in each of them. Later, we will roll back the transaction. Before rollback, we have inserted two row on each of them. Let's select the data and see the result. You can see before transaction, each of them has one row. After rollbacking the transaction, temporary table has only one row and table variable has two row. It's very clear that table variable has no effect of the transaction.